Hey guys, um, since it's a Saturday and I have nothing to do, I thought I would make a tutorial on how to play Amber Lynn by Made It Prayed on acoustic guitar. I'm probably going to end up doing this in two parts because it is kind of a longish song to teach, so enjoy. The chords that we will be using are E minor with capo on the first fret, which is E minor is second fret with the capo. 5th string, 4th string, cad 9, which is 2nd string on the 1st fret, and 5th string on the 3rd fret, G, which is all of our favorite chord, which is 2nd fret, 5th string, 3rd um, yeah, third fret, fourth string, and third fret, first string, second string, sorry. D, which is third string, second fret, first string, second fret, second string, third fret. And an F thrown in there, which you bar the first two strings on the first fret. And then 3rd string on the 2nd fret, and 4th string on the 3rd fret. Those chords sound like this. The first verse goes like this. Now, I'm going to slow that down, obviously, but that is the E minor, Cad 9, G, D, and then you repeat that again so that it's it ends up being E minor, Cad 9, And the strumming pattern is just switch. So if you just mute the strings, you go. So the verse with singing sounds like this. She said, boy, you better say you're sorry. The first bit of the first verse and the second bit which is just another like four lines but I uh, mix that up it's it's kind of like the first bit of the chorus in a way because that's actually repeated a couple times in the song but it is E minor that F cad 9 E minor F cad 9 E minor F cad 9 E minor F cad 9 and this is how it is played pretty much exactly and I'm dreaming all the time my heart is racing yeah I'm dreaming all the time won't you be mine and that last strummed chord is your cad 9 and then you quick mute before the chorus like lyrics will sound like this. She said, Boy, you better say you sorry. Don't think forgiveness will come easy. Cause it's all that I have to 
the chorus. The chorus is pretty much the same repeated thing again. G, Cad 9, E minor, D, G, Cad 9, E, D, G, Cad 9, E minor, D, G, Cad 9, E minor, and then you do the E minor, F, C, F, Cad 9, D, E minor, Cad 9, and then you go into that kind of, um, that riff solo thing, that really acoustic solo, and I think the violins are in that part, which I adore that part. Um, so the chorus sounds like this. And then I got three days to keep away. Right after that last E minor, had nine, G, D, E minor, had nine, G, D, and then you keep playing that D to carry over you into the next verse. So, um, this is how it sounds. Then you go into back to minor. 